sunscreen? Uh, has anyone got any 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 sunscreen? Okay, we'll stop that. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Jurassic World The Game, Electric Boogaloo, where we did it, oh thank god, yes, oh, we've got the friggin' Ophthalmosaur, a new, not only aquatic, why are we still here? What, you missed? There it is! Yeah! <laughs> so, we got 2,600 VIP points, food, and we did actually get some uh, books. Okay, so, uh, were, were we able to open it again? Okay, yes, right, so that's what we... Yeah, we actually got to open the pack, that's nice. And we unlocked it for a second time, sweet! So, not only is it a new aquatic, but it's also a completely new animation. And Ophthalmosaur, you would have thought, would have been in the game for a long time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't be silly, dear. Of course it wasn't. That's been in the game for ages. Um, but it's finally here. Just part builder. Excuse me, just eaten. Uh, <laughs> I know, very professional, aren't we? Uh, Jurassic Park Builder has had this in the game for such a long time. Um, or it did, you know, it was like one of the first creatures, I think, ever to come out for the aquatics. Um, but this one, it took so long. And here it is, uh, finally. And at max level, 3,160 health and 988 attack. So we've got like 5,500 bucks. Uh, but we have something kind of waiting in the incubator. So we'll have a quick look at it. We've got five days left to try and secure. Oh, this has just started. Ah, I don't have no disaurus, apparently. Interesting. I don't have that. But like I said, I think what we'll end up doing is we can make at least one video a week where we unlock a new creature. And Caprasuchus Gen 2 was the last one, I think, the last tournament that we did. And it took a week. Uh, in order to get all of this stuff for free, which has saved us bucks. Uh, but when something, you know, I, I felt as though, you know, this thing doesn't have a hybrid at the moment. It's a creature that is basically just a reskin of what we've had in the past. It's just got a different color on it. So instead of, you know, wasting all my bucks, getting that max level, um, for, you know, seemingly no purpose at the moment because it doesn't have a hybrid. So for me, there's no point spending thousands and thousands of bucks on it. Uh, however, if we, you know, end up doing that and we wait, when something like Ophthalmosaur comes out, which I'm quite surprised, it took so long to get Ophthalmosaur, um, and it only, you know, its, it's animation is just for it. So I'm wondering what other creatures we could have appear um, that will also use the Ophthalmosaur animation, because otherwise they've spent loads of work on a creature that has an animation just for itself, which is kind of ludicrous. Uh, and something that I did not expect, so I'm not expecting that to last long. Uh, may as well use Alpha. We can get some books, get over 5,500. Yes! Oh, but there's some more 50 boss DNA, so if we want to, we can, of course, max up Mortem Rex even higher. Uh, more towards that. Uh, let me see, where is it? So it'll be in here. Oh no, it won't even be in here because... Oh, well, hold on, we got, we got another another one of these. Um, so I'm actually, maybe I'm tempted to get some more Indoraptors. Um, because that tournament, the Othamasaur tournament, wasn't too bad, actually. Out of everything. I know, could have been a lot worse. A lot worse, John. Uh, but it wasn't, it was pretty damn good. Uh, I think I only need 1,500 cups. And it was over Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I think even Monday. Um, so they gave us loads of time to do it, and if it was a weekend, you know, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, and sort of ended on Monday instead of ending on Tuesday, it probably would have been a lot harder. I mean, 1,500, let's say you get 20 cups per battle, so 10 battles is 200, so you look at 50 battles is 50, you know, you're looking at a lot of- Oh, ah, no! We were so- oh, we were so close, damn it. All the DNA helps at this point. Uh, usually when you unlock a new creature or an event ends, there's some sort of offer that goes on. And there was yesterday, and I wonder if that was to purchase. Uh, so we'll go in here. We'll go on reefs, because I'm pretty sure it's a reef. There it is, hatch. So we'll do the instant hatch. And uh, yeah, we're going to see all this new animation. Look at it. It's so... The model is actually really freaking good. Let's have a look at this model. Wow. Wow. Look at the eye. Oh, that looks so good! 
Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm just sort of... Ooh, where's it going? Where you going, babes? I'm there. Oh, there it is, look. Yes. Wow, the detail on the eye. I mean, if we compare this to something that came out when the, the game first came out, there's no comparison. Oh, God, it's... Oh, it's through the camera. <laughs> there's no comparison. And I, I don't know if it's just me. It probably is. It's my personal preference. But there's something about Alfamaso that I freaking love. It's the design. It's the big eyes. I don't know. I just really like the way it looks. It's It looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it was one of the only ichthyosaur in the middle Jurassic through to the Cretaceous period. Wow. Okay. I think of a lot of... Um, a farmer sort of ended up dying off in the Cretaceous, I think. It was Jurassic when they were all around. Um, so, you know, we're not just going to get one. We've got to get multiples. Um, but we're going to first instant hatch all of these guys. Uh, so it's 8,000 each, so it's not so bad. And the 250 bucks is really good. So we can at least get this to level 30. And if we so wished, we may be able to get it to level 40. I think it's going to cost extra bucks to do that. Um, so what we will do... Oh, God. Um, we've got trades to do. Also, we need to see its eating animation. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. We got ahead of ourselves because eating animation will be completely completely new. It's, um, it's, you know, it's attacking animations will be new. Will we see a return of the, the water nado, the fish tornado thing that it used to do in uh, Jurassic um, Park Builder? Where three of them used to come around and then swirl up a storm and then have that go towards the enemy. If that, if they do that, you know, I don't mind that. that it's a good Easter egg. And why, why can't we just have dinosaurs do crazy like attacks and animations and stuff like that? Why do we have to be constrained by realism when most of the dinosaurs in the game aren't realistic? Uh, even just design wise. And when they reach their level 40, they definitely aren't realistic. So why can't we just have a family saw go back to its, you know, fish NATO days? That would be brilliant. Um, so let's go into here. Let's have, okay, let's have a look at seeding animation. Ready! So is it one fish? Oh, a little fish. Oh, yum! Oh. Oh, okay. Ha. Bit disappointing. Uh, you know, after waiting so long for something to, to happen, like a new eating animation, for it, for it literally just to, like, have the fish go in the mouth and have no, like, capture or the fish out the side or anything like that. Uh, that feels a bit cheap to me. Um, like, <laughs> you can see the point exactly where the fish's animation clocks on. And it's like, all of a sudden, it's, it's swimming that way. And then it's like that. You, I mean, you can see it. Like, watch. So it swims out. Here we go. Swims out. And then... Yeah, it's like, it's like, <laughs> oh, I feel like if we had it swim with a bunch of fish, why not? Ah, oh, but that's too much. That's too much to ask, apparently. So let's get it to level 20. <gasps> there it is. Oh, is it going to be the same colors? I think it might be the same colors. Yes, a blue and a yellow. Oh, it looked so good in Jurassic Park Builder. They perfected those colors. Oh, yes. I'm so happy if it is. This... Oh, but level 40, it's model change, won't it? What are we thinking? Are we thinking it's going to go spiky? Or would it go, like, curly, like, flowy? Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's first get this to level 10. And then you to level 10. And then instant fuse you guys as well. Because why not? Uh, do that. Uh, feed you up to level 20. Uh, see this uh, uh, kind of lackluster, for a better word, uh, animation. But let's evolve it. Instant fuse to level 30. Looks more blue, I think. Hard to tell. Level 30 is the nicer one before it goes into the crazy, oh, I don't know what it might be. Let's have a look at this one. We have so many resources, and even if we don't max up a Thalmasaur today, what we can do is, you know, I'm just saving and we're going to end up at a point where we'll we'll be able to max things up and a lot better because I'm not maxing up everything like I would with Gryposuchus and where we can really make use of our instant hatches and stuff like that. So at level 40, sorry, level 30, 2,233 health and 698 attack. Really good for a tournament creature. That is really freaking good. We're looking at VIP stats. Even better than a VIP stat, I might say. So, 
Alphamosaur gave birth to its young in live births, not by laying eggs, which is true. Not because it's getting it from walking with dinosaurs, but because there was a fossil found of it giving birth. Um, uh, found. Uh, the Othamosaur deserves its name from its eyes, the largest proportional eyes known among sea creatures of the late Jurassic. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready to see what it looks like level 40? And, ooh, interesting. So they didn't change much of it. Wow, okay, hopefully I'll, in post I'll make it brighter and stuff so you, so you can actually see it. But it has... Oh, you know what it reminds me of? I always, you know, when we played this in Just Park Build, I put the Echo the Dolphin sound effect on it there. Whip, 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 like the sonar beam. But actually, at level 40, it looks like the flying dolphins from um, Tides of Time or whatever it is. They've got, like, a, like longer do uh, dorsal fins or pe pectoral fins, sorry. Um, and the dorsal fin on the back is, like, curved and arched. So they've definitely taken, I think, inspiration there. Um, Ulfamosaur had large ring rings of eye bones, which prevented damage from water pressure in the lower depths, which is quite interesting. Uh, right, so 150. Oh, yes! 5,500 with the boss DNA. Uh, we will, however, purchase another Ulfamosaur. Because we definitely need to. It's 8,000. And to instant hatch it, it is 1,600. So in order to max this to level 40, what we would need to do is get four, 6,400 bucks. And unfortunately, we're not quite there. But what I will do is, of course, I will buy it. Uh, we'll buy two more that we can do there. So we'll activate that. Um, we'll just keep on doing this. So next week, we can come back and have a look at a level 40 Ophthalmosaur. But, we, I mean, you've pretty much seen it there. Um, so, that, I mean, <laughs> just trying to save my books, guys. <laughs> um, but what we can do is actually look at a level 40 Capra uh, Because now we have this all uh, leveled up. So we can have a look at you, get you to all to level 10, use all the food. So, in comparison, at level 30, you know, Alpha Amazon had 2,200 and 500 attack. Um, so, we'll just use our remaining instant fuses for this guy. Um, so, we have four extra, actually. So, we're only going to need to do two more. So, we'll have two to spare. So, even if there was something else that we wanted to fuse, we could. Uh, so, we'll evolve with instant fuse you, 160. Uh, getting an out to another level 30. So, at level 30... Um, it's 200 less health, but uh, uh, yeah, I guess it's got like 50 extra attacks, so it kind of actually balances out. Oh, maybe these new ones are just way better. And we're insta fuses to get a level 40 Capra Suchis Gen 2 with a baller amount of attack and, wow, sporting a sick color scheme. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so good. Damn, that is nice. Oh, yes. And we can get, you know, 100 bucks back for this. Uh, Capricorn Gen 2 has a more rustic uh, pigmentation. Rustic? I think we've used a wrong word there. You mean rusty. Rustic. Is it really rustic? Could we say it's rust? Okay, um, then the original. Making it an efficient hunter in any desert landscape. <laughs> yeah, I think they meant like a, a more like burnt tones and rusty. But a rustic? Rustic. That's an interesting word. Uh, so that's it. A level. Oh, hold on. We need to get level 40. 2,892 health and 904 attack. So we are now ready for when this thing gets hybrid moving forward. And that's really what we care about. Um, so we do have our Ophthalmosaur uh, getting ready to go, which is great. Um, and we are still VIP. And yet we have not had anything. Uh, I think we're probably on month 24 or something like that. I think we're pretty far now and we're not getting anything, which is a bit of a shame because we had up to month 12, which didn't seem too bad because uh, we got a new building. We got, you know, month 11, we got a new building and then we got new, new that. We got a new egg and um, I don't know what that is, like a decoration? Uh, yeah, the interactive skylight. However... Once you pass month 12, there's nothing but like extra mods, maybe a new decoration there. So the Triceratops exhibit, I suppose. And the final uh, month 16, which, sorry, was the Triceratops exhi exhibit. And the final one being the Brachiosaur sculpture. Again, I guess kind of all things from Fallen Kingdom. Uh, the Brachiosaur and not being on the pier, 
but um, being on a, a log, which looks a lot happier than it being left behind and killed. Um, so it's a bit of a shame because I can't cancel my VIP. I mean, I can, but if I do, I'm going to lose all this. And I know I will, because that's what they're like. They definitely will do that. <laughs> Uh, but at the moment, I've been getting loads of XP, uh, all the VIP points. I don't know whether it was a special offer. I was getting not two times, I was getting the three or four times uh, my, my bonus there. But what we want to do, really, is just see how good we can make this Lothamasaur. So this is my roster at the moment. Uh, Heine Coprian. Hmm. Hmm. Where is Ophthalmosaur? So, there, oh, there it is. So, it is kind of on par with a level 20 VIP. Not bad at all. Um, so, what we'll put you out first. And then we'll put out some weaker ones just to carry. Or, you know, to hold stuff. So, what we can do is put Nullify on the Ophthalmosaurus because we need to. And then we can put on... Alpha is how much? 100 extra attack. Or do we go from Vigorate, which is 500 extra health? I think we go for Invigorate, so we give it 3,000 extra health. Right, let's see. Let's see what we're up against. I'm excited. I'm excited. We'll, I mean, we're going to see 1 to 2 animation, uh, 3 to 4, 5 to 6, and then 7 to 8. Uh, is that okay? Uh, no, that is not good. However, everything else I'm good against. Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, it like dashed to the side. That was interesting. Oh, they're putting like the... Um, the whoosh is on the side when it moves. Oh, wait, no, hold on. That's the nullify. <laughs> Never mind. So, hold on. We've just nullified its attack, did we? But it's lost health anyway. Interesting. Okay, so actually it goes first with a 1,128 attack. Uh, please attack me. I would love it if you did because I actually know I wouldn't. I'd hate it. Um, oh, why did you do it then? Why? Oh, damn. Okay. That, that's cool. That's cool. I like the tongue sticking out the top. You see that? <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, we can survive one more hit, so we may as well go for one reserve, right? I would have preferred to have, you know, not faced up against this thing instantly. Um, and we are going to nerf its attack, which is great. Uh, so whatever it is, it's going to do nothing. So, unfortunately... Um, actually, maybe dead. I'm not too... <laughs> <Don't get it. laughs> oh, a nice little uh, barge in. But we need to definitely rig that um, that tongue. So we're going to nullify whatever that is. Um, it does have three attack. So, what is that? 450. Um, even if it doubles its attack in three hits, it's not going to kill me. Uh, so, But it does do one. Okay. Okay, so we did the three attack. We did the three to four. Um... We can't kill it, which is interesting, in one hit. So I'm just going to switch to a Dacosaur. Um, because we're below our extra health, I'm wondering what happens when we lose this guy. Because we can't lose a thousand health. Because we'd be we'd be dead, right? So I think it just... Once we lose that build-up, I think we're kind of good. I think it goes back to our normal health, right? Like, we're not just going to die here, are we? Good, okay. <laughs> so it went for a big number. I don't know how much that was, but Archelon only has 43 attack. So I'm going to factor in two and then go for two reserve. So again, it's the three to four animation. It's it's kind of all like I, I really could do. However, uh, we will do the eight animation here. So we've done three to four and then seven to eight. So we still need five and six and one to two. Uh, so we will definitely buy back because we've got our refreshes again. Um... And hopefully we get some good prizes from this. I don't remember what we were supposed to be getting. Oh, we went for a full-on attack, did it? Yeah, little buggy. Uh, so I can I can block for one and still go for three reserves. Um, I mean, I think would be fine. I think max he could do is like 400 damage, even if it went for four. Uh, that was three, and it went. <laughs> that was not good. It was two actually. Uh, so let's go for the seven. So that's ten. Thousand damage. Oh, is it ten thousand? I think it. Oh, so here we go with spin. Whoa! <laughs> oh, a double attack. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's not a tornado, but it still looks pretty cool. It still looks good. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, it looks so cute. I love it. The model. They've spent so much time on that. It's such a shame because they put they put loads of time and effort into this model. Aerotine, I guess, isn't so bad, but it's not going to be addressable alive. Or maybe it will, because it looks it looks like a decent model. 
like something they could import into Ro into a lab. So I'm hoping. I, d I don't know how. I'd love if they just did aquatics. I don't care if they float in alive. I, I honestly don't care. It would just be so good because it doesn't matter about type. It's all about attacks and, and health and stuff. Um, right. So, we'll go for a Thalmasaur again. We've got instant recovery. Uh, we'll go for two lesser ones again. Nullify is... It, it's just the best. It's just the best. Um, and if we go for maybe attack this time? Should we go for attack? We'll go for alpha. Seeing as I've got 99 plus of that. So that's going to give me 100 and 100. And I could go for the other one, which is give everything 10% extra. But even then, it's only 60. It's probably just 70 attack instead of, you know, 100. So it works really good for lower level creatures. Just to give them 100 extra attack. But not when we're onto this. So he doesn't go through block, which is great. And we almost kill him. Oh, no, now we do kill him. Yes. Yes, now we kill him in one hit. Sweet. So I think that, that helicopter at the bottom uh, has it so when it when I kill something, it gets a risk game one extra point per defeated creature on opponent's team. Okay, that's not so bad, I would say. So here's the one to two animation. Oh, a tail slap. Again, if the tongue is fixed, perfect. It looks gorgeous. So he's going to have three, I think. Unless it only counts for him. What? It, wait, it only counts for him? That makes no sense. Oh, that's bad. That's not good. Okay, so one hit. Um, so we need... We're going to do three, four... So we, we can go for two reserves here. We need to go for two reserves. Um, to make sure we do the four to five attack animation. I guess we could see it die. And how it looks like when it dies. Because we haven't seen that either. Um, which would be quite interesting. I love I love the tail shimmy shams. That's nice. So, we, you know what? We may as well. Start it. Let's go for the five attack. Five to six attack animation. We haven't seen this one. Yum, yums. Yum. Oh, it's a three. Kind of okay. A bit. Not, not one of the most demanding animations. I've got to admit. Uh, also, this guy should have got two reserves, right? He should have. Uh, he's not going to kill me. And I'm kind of... I'm kind of stumped because I want to see my death animation. But at the same time, this guy's got 30 attack. So even if it goes... For, oh, well, it's saying that. If he goes for 8, um, he could probably do a solid, like, 500 damage or something. Uh, so 6. Oh, let's see. 6 attack. How much? Oh, 400. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, I, again, I mean, what we haven't seen is a switch in, switch out. So we'll switch back. Oh, I can't. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't just keep switching? Oh, well, that's interesting. Is that because the bot's not allowed to do it? And therefore it would look weird if it only did, if it only ever swapped in once. Okay, so, oh, well, we get to see the swap-in animation now. So that's it swapping in. Um, all we haven't seen is its death animation. Um, which I guess we could have shown if it was the other one. So, you know, we'll, we'll go for the eight. 23,000 attack it does at max at level 30 anyway. Jam! And then the... Um, I like how the camera sort of tilts and comes back up as if, you know, your point of view of being hit and then your head comes back up. That's quite nice. But it looks good. I love that. I love that thing. Uh, elite boosted prizes. Not the best? Uh, fifth, you know, that's that'll, that'll go towards more Indoraptors. In fact, do we have any? Like, that need uh, feeding? I think we might. Oh, yes, there we go. Get up to level 10. Oh, 5,103. 2,658 attack. Oh, it's ludicrous. I love that. Just do the claw. Gorgeous. Uh, okay, so we. I want to see its death animation. So there's another 60 bucks going, helping us towards. Uh, we'll do the trade harbor um, just to see if we can get any John Hammond statues. We'll get some of that. If I mean, maybe if we are very lucky... We could max it up to level 40. I don't think so. We need a lot of John Hammond statues to come through. I'll trade 5 million for 700. That's fine. Um, yeah, and at this rate, I'd have to open up so many VIP packs in order to get an extra 2,000 uh, bucks. And they only get 100 per. So, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely not worth it. But we do need DNA, so we'll, we'll keep on doing that. Um, anything? Oh, there's the John Hammond. I think I have a lot of John Hammonds. At the moment, so we've got decorations. We'll just trade for VIP points. That's the thing, because if you trade for VIP points, you may get DNA and you may also get books. 
Whereas if you just trade for DNA, that's all you get. Because if I go in here and I go into this, I open up the zip line for 2,000. And if possible, I could get 300 books. Or I could get 1,500 DNA. And if I just wanted 300 books, the closest I could get, I guess, is spending like two quid. So by doing that, I'm, you know, I'm saving money and oh, that just seems to be the best way, really. <laughs> so let's see if we can get its death animation. I want to see its death animation. So we'll put it in... You know what it is. We'll go for boosted prize because we may get a micro. Um, where is it? So we'll do it one more time. Instant recovery. Oh, it takes us straight to elite boosted. Okay. Uh, so we want to make sure we survive this. So we'll just use our two, one of our two best creatures or two of our top three best creatures. Um, we'll, I mean, we don't need nullifying, uh, spikes. What does this mean? After being attacked, deal 50% damage. Ooh. Ooh, I like the idea of that. However, we've only got one of those. We do have six of these. Remain at one HP uh, upon receiving lethal damage. And regenerate, uh, heal all hurt allied creatures by 25% of their max HP. These things are brilliant. However... However, they don't seem like... If those were in Jurassic World Alive, it would make so much more sense because it'd be like another level of strategy. But in this game, because it's so basic and so bare bones, it kind of doesn't really work <laughs> that much. Oh my god, he can kill me in two hits. And he's also getting more attack. Oh, well, at least we nullify the, the swapping so we can't swap out now. Um... Oh, oops, I put the wrong one in. Oh, I meant to put Nullify. Oops, what do I put on? <laughs> I've locked him. He's also locked me. And if he goes first, I'm dead. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'll go for one reserve and we'll die. Sweet. So, yes, here we go. Let's see the animation. And uh, we're in good stead for the Tylosaur. So, two attacks. What does it look like dead? Just, eh? Oh, no. It goes belly up. It kind of looks like it, it sinks down a little bit, but you know, at least it's not like a bleh, onto the floor, like I think we've seen with some other creatures. So we can go for two hits, one reserve. Uh, however, Lyptoclitus, I don't think it's very good. I mean, it's a hybrid. Oh my god, it is good. Never mind. Woo, it might even kill me. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Maybe I should have put Alphamasaur in last, because then we could see its death animation and the game over screen. Oh, we need to do that next. <laughs> um, right, you know what? I'm just going to go for four reserves. And then, once we've seen that, once we've seen it's like game over screen, or defeated, um, I think we've seen all the animations it can do, I think. Eating, all attacks, victory, defeat, takes damage. Uh, right. Ooh. Well, we didn't get to do attack damage anyway, so that's sweet. Uh, oh, spikes! There we go! Boom! Sweet! So now we only need two hits to kill it. Uh, one, two. Factor in two, just in case. And then I'm gonna go for three block. Because I don't know how much this thing has, like, coming in. I think it has a little bit less attack, but it still has a... Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Well, that doesn't bother me. That's fine. Um, it could kill me in two hits, I think. Possibly. Possibly three to push. But two hits... Okay. Oh, I don't kill him in two hits, though. I think I kill him in three. So I'm going to risk the biscuit. Yep. Come on. No more than two blocks. No, we've lost. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh, it was so close. So I just, I just wasted all that. Well, well, there you have it. <laughs> At least we're going to see the death of Hainosaur. Hainosaur animation. What did you... Three block. One block, maybe. Two block. And a push, yes. Three. Three block. Come on. That's so unlikely that they go for three block. But there it is. Uh, uh, <laughs> I sigh. It even looks sad as it looks down. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, we're going to leave it there. But uh, yes, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.